Just slide into uh, victory out. That's, yeah. that's all you have <laughs> to do. Slide into the victory. Slide into the victory. It's like we're sliding into this game. <laughs> there, you, there you go. That's how we do things, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go. Game number one. So don't forget, we are using the uh, spectator client. Um, so we're going to get some extra information, Kitty. So not only will we be able to see things like the overhead map. And this um, nice rear end view cool. of the bus. There you go. You know, it's the little I hope, things. I hope they thank the bus driver. I always have to thank the bus driver. If I don't thank the bus driver, I don't get the victory royale. Uh, those so things are in, they come and they go hand in hand. Yeah. It's if very you important. think if you thank the bus driver, you have a higher chance <laughs> of a victory royale. That's confirmed. Um, <laughs> with that being said, though, I mean, you talked about it. Loot Lake, the new floating island. Look at that. Now, there's only one person that is landed it, there. Is that one person? Is that that's, a solo player or is he uh, is he covering his teammate? Oh, and he's already leaving. Oh, okay. So his teammate, that's right. Lake. So his teammate is heading into Greasy Grove. So he's okay. like, okay, I have to join over there. So I'm maybe he surprised. saw that nobody was up there. I'm going to get some quick loot and then I got to support my teammate. That's fair. I mean, especially if he could make a very quick land right off the bat. I mean, there's like chests on the edge of the uh, crater as well or mm -hmm. the islands. So you just hop down, grab a chest, and then, you know, make you your way over. Up. And yeah, and then you can uh, get an eye view of where the storm's going to be and then make your choice from. From there, where you're gonna head off with the nice vent. What do you call that? Tornado. Tornado. <laughs> the typhoon. Typhoon. It's got all kinds of crazy names. Yeah. Um, but here we go. Starting the game, all 100 players still left alive in the match, which is actually pretty surprising because by now we see players get eliminated. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? So now that we're in duos, right? What, what do you think you're you're expecting to see? How do you think the players are gonna kind of play? Uh, I think it's going to be varied by each duo. I think we've got a lot of pros with a lot of up-and-coming pros. Um, so you're going to see people uh, play based on who their teammate is that they pick, so who their captain is. So I can see some people really wanting to make sure that they get that good loadout, the safe amount of resources to be and ammo, which is really important early game. It's very easy to run out of ammo early. And you see these guys already spamming. Like, how many walls have these guys had time to farm before fighting each other? And it doesn't look like many, <laughs> to and be with, honest. Yeah, with that, <laughs> Fnatic Jarl goes down and is eliminated. So now these guys get to own Viking Village. Ooh, another fight breaking out. Motel. OK, this is power, uh, powder, rather. And Alpha, I mean, Alpha, we've seen a lot. Alpha is uh, possibly too strong. All right. mm. I mean, I may need to talk to them. Be like, look, Alpha, <laughs> is, that a, look, is that a thing? You can be that, too strong now. Yeah, Alpha okay. is too strong for okay. sure. Okay. Um, he's 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 ascended. You know. Oh wow. That is what is. Ooh, and Razor Roo, right below him. Shout out to Razor. Uh, last great. week he dropped from literally in game one, dropped oh. the highest possible. He, he just streak. knocked out your too strong guy. So does he take the title of? Too yeah. strong now? No, he no. Razor <laughs> is 100% a titan. I mean, and, and like uh, I was talking about last week. So the incentive was, you get a victory al and you get a eight eliminations. You got a royale flush. That was last right. week. And in game one, he was like, "You want? That's what you want, Zeke? I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> that's Here you go. Goal? That's right, for done. that's for you." And I was I lost my mind. I yes. wasn't prepared, especially in game one. Yeah. Well, and, and them landing at Motel is a great place, too, because you almost always have those rifts there. You can rotate around the map really easily. And uh, I think that's why that was contested, and you saw another team dropping with them. So here we go. Where Over. are we? Lonely Over. Lodge. Yep, this is near Ooh, Lonely. Ooh, Mansion, another awesome place to drop. I've dropped a few times here with Creo, actually, and it went well. It went well. You can get lots of brick from those fences. Uh, mm -hmm. Right away, you can get lots of wood in the trees, and then all those mushrooms. To so get right. that, uh, yeah. Ooh, Ollie, though, is <laughs> down right now. I just got distracted by that uh. snipe. That was great. <laughs> so now uh, Sanity is here to fend for himself in a 1v2 against Thorman and Junkin right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, so here's the thing, right? Like, obviously, the eliminations matter. And you don't, if you don't know, the only way to confirm that point and get the, the actual point itself is you have to down the player and then finish them off. And then you get the elimination. So in a, in a perfect world, you down both players simultaneously, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you down a player and then your duo ends up falling, you won't get the point because that player wasn't confirmed. So we see a lot of players, the moment they go down, it's like, well, got to thirst this guy. We need that point. The points are so important in this. And like that could mean a, a lot of the prize pool, that one point. Yeah. There's a huge fight breaking down. Junkin is here trying to secure this elimination. <laughs> Looks like his teammates takes down Sanity. It's so hard when you have both of those players focusing you. It's really difficult to keep up walls. And uh, again, early game, well, these guys have a lot of resources now because they just farmed two, <laughs> two players who had been farming. But That's right. Let's check out this replay from Kinstar and Hunter. Mm. We touched on it earlier. I mean, Kinstar and Hunter, this is the dynamic duo. 
if I've ever seen one. But Ooh. look, Lolito here. And Atlantis Kedster. And we got Harmy too. We were talking about Harmy earlier. Yes. Do you want? Do you want to? Incredible player. What? What is? What is the term you uh, gave him? Wh someone said the the German Tifu. The German. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Yeah, that's just what I've, I've I've heard the chat speak about. But I saw him disengage from that fight. I don't know what happened after that. But he Ooh. lives to build another day. But over to reflection. Uh, He's I on mean, the hunt. Look yeah. at him. He knows someone's out there. He's thirsty for those uh, eliminations. Reflection is just one of the possibly most disgusting players I think I've ever seen. Also, one of the <laughs> most disgusting. I mean, well, I'm he's really incredible. enjoying these descriptors. Oh yeah, I mean, listen, I'm always gonna talk talk up these players because mm -hmm. they make my job easy. They just do Ooh. awesome things, and I get to lose my mind. Max and is then... not happy about that. Was that his teammate that he lost? It was. Yes. Yeah. Stanny is down. How dare you touch Stanny? And now Max is like, well, I uh, have to eliminate. <laughs> do you think so? You've played in some of the skirmishes. Right? Yes. I uh, have. When you. Do you watch the kill feed? So, like, let's say your t your teammate goes down. Do you oh, watch 100%. to see who it is, and and does that play a factor in like your confidence? Like, or, you yes. Know? When you <laughs> when your team is going down to uh, one of the liquid guys, uh, especially if it, if it's me playing, and so let's say Bizzle has gone down to one of the liquid guys, and I I see the relentless push. Uh, through woods at me. I'm I'm definitely looking at if I have anything to disengage. Hopefully a rift. <laughs> like, uh, look, uh, let's just reassess. Sorry, guys, our bad. We walked into territory. Yeah, my bad. Didn't mean to come over here. It was my fault. Bad call, but. <laughs> <laughs> let's check out this new circle. So now Ooh, we get we Annie see where Keisha. the new safe zone's at, which okay. is over toward tilted, which is good. Yep. Uh, now, I mean, if I have to pick, the way I want this game to end is I want it to end on floating island. <laughs> I love floating out. Okay, uh, that's going to be chaos because especially with that final moving circle, mm -hmm. they're they're going to be kicked kicked up in that vent and taken places that they don't want to go potentially. And right. <laughs> but it would be definitely entertaining. Oh no, Loya! Oh, Loya takes Taking a, a big huge hit. hit. Yep. And now uh, this is looking pretty rough right now. Kedster is looking to clean up and finish off this uh, player, these players rather. Mm -hmm. Lito here with oh, a double barrel Loya. finishes off Loya. You Lots know? going on here, yeah. Wait, Tomo, there's... Tomo, trying to to turtle to evade the onslaught, but no, these guys, they know exactly where he is. The storm is only ticking for one right now. They're not worried about spending their time in here to finish off that kill for that extra elimination. Now Kester oh. could go down. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, and he's got a nice med kit waiting for him. So that's that's always a a, a little bit of a raffle. You don't know what they're gonna have. Right. And spending that extra time in the storm, getting as low as he did there. Uh, yeah, having that med kit to use right away is, is that's, that's really nice. For me, it typically typically goes, I stay in the storm, I eliminate a player, and they don't have any heals at all, and then I go, oh. And then I'm back <laughs> like, in the lobby. Well, this is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right, well, this was probably not worth have it. Have a great game, guys. <laughs> back over to Thorbin. Looks like Junkin is down, so he's finding himself in a 1v1 situation currently. Oh. And oh. immediately is taken down. Laser. Wow. That was... That was quick. So <laughs> he went from like, 200 to zero. Yeah. Rules is like, hey, man, can you just go take care of this guy? I need to heal real fast. You got this. That's one thing that you'll notice about these pro players, too, is when they when they feel like they're at a disadvantage, they really do trust their teammate uh, to help them out. You'll see them turtle up if they don't want to take too many shots, too much damage, and then their teammate will kind of jump in, get the finish, um, and then they're not, they're not taking as much damage. They're not losing as many uh, shield points. It's... Yeah, you always got to rely on that other teammate. And Dalo here, Dollar Games is like, Dalo, I trust you with my life. I'm currently <laughs> down below. I need you to eliminate all of these players. And he hears these guys taking down his base, so he wants to get down low as soon as possible. Hopefully is, finish uh, him off. Oh, oh those dual pistols no way. are so strong right now. When you when it hits, it hits. That's <laughs> it's right. It's amazing. He downs a player there. Now it's a 1v1. Wished up top. Not a lot of oh, oh! I like those the wings the on the new dark bomber. Yes, that's the bat a, wings. 
a beautiful style. No, it's not the bat wings. It's the, um, the dusk ones. Raven wings. Oh, the raven wings. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. Kind of purpley There's ones. There's so many wings in the game. You remember when it was just Cupid's wings? I love the wings in the game. They're I love so it. I, f I feel like a Victoria's Secret angel when I rock them. <laughs> like, look at me go, world. <laughs> look at me now. Yeah. Let's take a look at the current scoreboard. So this is. Look at this. Look at this new little Ooh. score we got going. So you can take a look at the team. So as an example, Tixi and Toma, they've got four eliminations. Number one team in the Woo. number one spot. That's right. So what they've got the one point on the board currently. Now keep in mind, And again, look at their health and their shields, too. Those guys yeah. are sitting pretty. Oh, yeah. They're in good the to go. Yeah. Over to Vermax. And the Vic, Kaz looking pretty weak oh, right here, now. I see Harmy in the background. The, the German Tifu, he's coming into the fight. <laughs> he's on his way. Oh, he's actually getting pushed up on by Svenas, who I believe has his eyes set on Vermax right now. Harmy might be able to just turtle up and just stay let him quiet. Pass. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope, keep you going. may go. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not here. You, got, yo, you, they're over there. Fight them. Uh, Follow them over there. Yeah, look yeah, at this Svenos. Svenos and oh no, they've definitely heard Harmy. Oh no, they're they're taking they're shots on Kaz. Kaz. Oh, and Harmy. Okay, so it's. Both, oh. both of them are under fire. Oh, they're trying to run for their lives right now. And I look at this. The storm is starting to come in right now, mm -hmm. Kitty. I mean, so it's not going to start ticking for two, but it's going to start ticking for two very quickly. Yeah, so they need to run. Yeah, it that border, definitely. Mm -hmm. And look, they've got the Shadow Stones. Those are enabled. Yeah. I love the Shadow Stones, by the way. So it's very they're, high risk, high reward. They are so fun. And I think in this type of situation, the risk actually isn't so bad because you can't see into the storm very well. Mm -hmm. So I think when you have that Shadow Stone enabled and you're running with the storm, the likelihood of someone spotting you is a little bit lower. But no, yeah. those are those are a great, great movement tool to use in the game, especially in a situation that Sonos has choose, chosen. That's right. Now he just, just flies on over. He's like, Dorik has <laughs> beautiful. floating over to you in now. In the evening, just, you know, this. flying around, enjoying life. Over to Madsen the view. and Blacks, you see Free that they are camel. engaged. Yeah, they're getting pushed up on. Uh, I would personally oh, and be. They're not sitting pretty. They, these guys have no shields, and they've got a, a hungry Blacks yeah. <laughs> who's, uh, who wants a piece. Oh, Ooh. and he'll. <laughs> oh no! Pretty oh, going no. down with a one shot. And look oh. at that! He shotguns Ooh. three. Gotaga, Airwalks just lost in the storm. No! Yeah. Oh, wow. So they did not make it out. They must have got caught up in an engagement outside, but now it's just Campbell by himself. Now, keep in mind, Campbell's a great player, mm -hmm. so he can he can turn this around. But this is a tall order, especially with 35 bandages. HP. <laughs> this okay. is not the spot you want to be in. No. Getting some SMG shots, though. Man, I'm and, Yeah, they're sitting on zero kills right now, so he wants to survive this, get the limbs, but... I mean, when you have two strong gen side players pushing up on you, what's what's the play? <laughs> uh, well, he's gonna not, try to crack back. Not but that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he tried. I mean, look, yeah. he took a big old bite out of Blackso, but unfortunately, he does go down. And look, he drops mm -hmm. slurp juices as well. So Blackso's gonna be fine. He's gonna heal up to 75. Mm -hmm. Use that uh, slurp juice, and he's gonna be good to go. Now look, we're back over to Svenos and Kaz. We saw Svenos use the Shadow Stone, yeah. and now he's like, he's good to go, but take a look at all the players on the mountain. It looks like Svenos used the Shadow Storm uh, or Stone to get high ground, and now taking shots. Oh, we're headed to a replay. This is when oh. Bree goes down there. Oh. So this is Madsen's perspective. Ooh, that was, that was quick, yeah. That was it's, a point blank It's one. hard. When someone when someone uses your ramp to come up behind you, it's you're, you're expecting them to build their own build. So when they come up behind you, sometimes it's it takes you off guard, but mm -hmm. that's too bad. And Kaz looking really low. So was, <laughs> that is not a guy you want to have uh, chasing you. That's right. right. He, that's there you go. Sure. Does he like the shot? He does. That is going to be an elimination heading his way and all the Ooh. loots for him. And the trap. Did you Look see that pickup? Yeah, I did. Did you, you see the we'll upgrades too? Yeah. <laughs> Spenos is really happy. See, like, Dent Games is kind of like, hey, can I get some of that loot? Like, Spenos is like, ooh. Man, look, mm -hmm. I got the elimination here. I'm gonna hold on to this. Don't worry. Yeah, he was a little lagged behind. He's like, I'm, I'm here. I got the loot. It's mine. Oh, and we see Mitro for the first time today. I, so he's been sitting pretty and greasy. I'm not sure if he's currently by himself. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. But over to rules right now. So, we, so again, now we see where the new safe zone is. It's near greasy, and you get a little bit of the floating island. So what you might see players do to rotate in safely is they'll use the, the vortex there surrounding the island, they'll react mm -hmm. with their shoots, and they can kind of rotate as need be. 
The problem is, is that other players will probably have this in mind, so they're all going to kind of rotate into like the same spot. Yeah, already we see a lot collecting on top of the mountain. One actually is sitting on the side. It looks like just turtling on the corner on the map, if we can get that pulled up. Um, and then a few, three different teams fighting north of them. So it's, 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 a, it's a happening spot right it now. Is. It's Yeah, and it's right on the edge of the map. So this is... Yeah. It's going to get chaotic pretty quickly. On top of that, Ooh, you still have 53 Kinzel players. Kinzel just got two explosive kills. Ooh. He's got the RPG. He also has the Rift to go, if he so desires, over on Rojo, which is pretty good. That's definitely something that just increases in value as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. Late game Rifts, those can be utilized so well. Uh, save a lot of resources by using that to rotate instead of having to build your tunnel through the map. Oh, ooh, getting clean shots. That's right. Taking a look at the current scoreboard. Right at the top, Razor, Rue, and Lou. Razor has Yay! four eliminations. He, <laughs> they have Fortnite. one point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to see, boys. There you go. And right behind them, you've got a few other players with only three. So a lot of players very close to the very first threshold. Still have half a lobby. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know how we're doing it, but right now we've got 50 players left alive. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing, right? Is this these aren't pub games. This is not something you see typically. This is something you only see in these types of games, right? We, mm -hmm. we take literally a ton of players from around the world that are literally the best, and you put them in the lobby and say, uh, "Have fun, go fight." Have fun, yeah. Well, and, and every single week we're seeing new strategies, and that's that's my favorite part part about Fortnite is mm -hmm. every single week you see new players coming up with the meta. And uh, that's why it's so great to watch these skirmishes because you can you can see the top players playing other top players and how do you compete? <gasps> oh, oh no, ooh, he might be ooh. okay. Okay, the ramp saved him there. That was very close. Marijuana <laughs> was just staring great at the reflexes. Yeah, yeah. I, he watched it bounce out from the window and was like, oh no. So these guys are sitting pretty. He's got a slurp. He's got those five explodes in the grenade launcher and uh, lots. Of, ooh, I was gonna say lots of shield. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> oh. Nice shot. Everyone is very close to each other right now. This is what that things get claustrophobic. Weird. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm well, especially on that side zone. So one thing to consider if you're a new player is what part of the map is the largest that's pushing into the new circle? Because that's statistically where you can see the most players that are going to be coming in. So that this one line is having so much action where the rest of the guys on the map are sitting pretty in the zone, taking some shots, hoping to get some third parties. That's right. They're just chilling. They're like, cool, we're going to play gatekeeper. You guys fight it out. No, no, no keep, just keep fighting it out. <laughs> then make your way over here. Yeah. I'll take you out with one shot. It's okay. They'll take all the shield off you. Yeah. Maybe 75% of your health. I'd like the one shot. And then I just like look really hard in your direction and then I eliminate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rojo goes down though. Even the likes of Dementos is mm -hmm. <laughs> just being chunked right now. Ooh. You talked about it. Look how many players are just desperately trying to scramble yep. their way into the safe zone all on top of each other. Yeah, when you look at that mini map, you can really see what I'm talking about. Oh, but oh. luckily enough, all these guys that have now survived, they're sitting pretty. Yes. They get to make their comfortable uh, little fortresses and then wait for the new uh, group from Greasy to push into them. But still, fight's happening. It hasn't settled yet, but I bet they're definitely uh, very excited to see the <laughs> new zone on top of them. Yeah. I mean, at that point, you're like, okay, look, I've been running this whole time. Finally, a little oh, luck see? my way. But yeah, the action picking up Kinsel in Greasy. Oh, and but Zacubus <laughs> are gone. Isma is dropped as well. Oh. Oh, yeah, this all these guys in Greasy just looking at these these poor people who have just exhausted their mats getting into zone. They know that these guys are low. There's a lot of metal, which usually means that they've burned through their wood and their brick. And uh, yep, taking taking those shots. Yeah, you said it best. I mean, look at the mat counts again: 290, 235 on marijuana. He's yeah. chunked out again. They Gotta just don't careful. have much. Mm -hmm. They've literally been Ooh. fighting this entire time just trying to get safe. Now they are safe, but they've used going so the much. Edit play. Oh, but there's two people waiting for him behind. His teammate going down through the window. <laughs> Doesn't oh. matter about the window because the wall is killed immediately. There's so much pressure on this corner right now. And the zone's starting to move. Marijuana has left to fend for himself. And we're also going up a hill. So what a lot of people don't realize, and I think players are getting a lot better at realizing now, is when you got to make it up that hill, you really have to start moving early. 
because moving horizontally is <laughs> a lot quicker than taking those vertical steps, especially if you're coming up underneath other people's build and you have to destroy it before creating your own. Exactly. So, oh, I'm back on Marwana. He's, he's lost his teammate. Yeah, he's in a really rough spot. Now they have it. Well, he is safe, though. He is safe, and a lot of those walls are his, which is nice. So he's not going to have to exhaust too many resources to make his new base. So he's taking that time to make the. Oh, and. I mean, Mitra. Oh, no. Wow, look at, look at how many characters are below him right now. He's. He wants those kills. He does have the rift to go. He can bail if he needs to, but I mean, if we know Mitra, he he's two. looking to get. A, he has two. Mitra, Slurpjo, one Slurpjo of the most well. exceptional players. <laughs> <laughs> for him to go. And a, and a lot of ammo to spam like this right now, too. And oh, did you look at his mats? Uh, yeah. He sure has one good. kill and he has that many mats. That's, that's, wow. That's yeah. impressive. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's the thing, right? It, when you're moving into late game, you have to not only manage where other players are, your ammo count, your mat count, enemies ammo and mat count. <laughs> and Mitro is a pro at that. He's like, look, if, I, if we hit late game, I'm gonna be good to go. I'm ready to fight. Yeah. You guys duke it out, and then we're like top 10. I'm just gonna just own you. That's pretty much it. I'm Mitro. How's it going? Yeah. I, and you've seen that in a lot of the games he's played. Like he he maintains the advantage the whole way through. Looking oh, looking for the edit a little bit late and oh, Rasmussen uh, paying for it. They are taken down. Maybe not. Like, maybe the decision to go for his teammate there wasn't the best one. There's a lot of eyes watching them and. Kitty, we saw Getting 20 a med kit for eight players. health here. I like, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Every health does count. Med kit for eight. 10 seconds for eight health. <laughs> uh, it's a tough. Uh, it's tough. I mean, evil. So Svenos has you healing as well. You are denying it from someone else. That's too. <laughs> that's a great point. So if you can't even, if you get eliminated, you don't get yeah. to use it. Like, someone no, else gets to use nobody it. Nobody else. We'll make this hard for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and raise the roof going down. Oh, and as well, Lou, his teammate. So it looks like. Vermax and Novash both sending in explosives on those guys and getting half of uh, half the points <laughs> from each. Kinstar and Hunter still alive. And look at, I mean, Kinstar still has 600 metal. 600 metal, mm -hmm. ready to go. Vermax here and the Vic, they actually have five eliminations. So they're one more away from that second threshold of two points. Yes. But Vermax has been knocked by Epsilon King. Kinstar explodes Heisel. Oh, and then wow. eliminates Heisel. Oh, they just used uh, the Shadow Stone there. Oh, oh Mitro wow, eliminates you him. predicted this. They are <laughs> on the islands. Oh, yes. okay. So this is going to be really, really interesting to see how these players decide to handle this. This is a situation unlike any else. You've got the Shadow Stones to work with. You've got the Fent to work with. And there's not a lot of resources to farm in this area either. That's right. And you see, you see Kling. <laughs> clinging on to life with no resources. <laughs> now, he does have the Shadow Stone, right? Yeah. So he can phase through walls if he needs to, but he's got to be careful because, remember, there is like a deactivation time when you come out of the phase form. Yeah, and people and people can hear it, they too. They can. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're gonna, they know the zone they're in. They're going to be prepared for plays like that. Ooh. But, oh, we got six kills on the solo. Oh, you predicted this. Kinstar and Hunter sitting pretty with six kills. Six eliminations. Look at this. That means, Kitty, they need two more. If they yes. get two more, they have the maximum elim elimination bonus. Oh, I which... saw a rift go off. I'm not sure who used that. Uh, but probably Mitro. He still had the two if he's alive he right does, now. He did it. OK. He is alive. Wait, no, no, no. Hold he... on. Look at oh, So look how Eelin. weird this oh, is right no. now. But you, OK, this is the problem. So you don't want to get caught in that vent. Right. Because when you're when you're gliding like that, you are an open target. Mm -hmm. So anyone can open up their roof and just take shots on you and you just you gotta try and dodge. That's right. And in a circle this small, that's not the easiest thing in the world. We still have ten players left, Kitty. At the top again, Kinstar and Hunter still very much alive. The likes of SK are alive. They need two more for those that three points. That's right. And that would activate close. the multiplier going into next game. So you got to think they're oh. probably they pick up another one. <laughs> they're right. like, Zeke, you guys want another elimination? They Hold on, Kitty. Hold this. Now. Watch. With, I mean, with eight players remaining, this is totally possible for them to get to that eight kill mark or elimination. Oh, oh, okay, was that's that a, a teammate. Oh, God. I thought that that's... was a play. <laughs> okay, oh, we I both made jumped. the same mistake. I oh, actually jumped. That's good. Mitro is sitting pretty. He's got an amazing metal fortress in the center. Yeah, he can only... choose to shoot down, shoot up, or just be protect protected to to heal during this final zone. Getting another, ooh, another limb on Vilix. 
That'll oh, be his second. Reflection. Didn't stick the landing. Oh. Oh, it's Hunter. Oh, five players Sorry. left. We're oh, going to heal off. It's kill. not. It oh, looks like Hunter. We have Kinstar at the bottom already using that med kit. He's prepared to go for the heal off. Nitro as well. No healing. They're but both down. It it's just be. It's gonna be Master. <gasps> Master holds on Whoa! long enough. They and that's without shot. healing during that. That's how. We had we had two guys with med kits, and Master, Master having says, that high ground advantage. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's like, a heal off. Sure. I'm just going to go ahead and take the big draw. I'm not even sure how. So oh, I believe watching. During that, though, Kinstar and Hunter did get a. No way. <laughs>